So there you have it. There you have it. There we have it. The day before media day. Media day kicks off tomorrow. Listen, we got a couple of things going for you. We have a crew out there going live. Getting all the information for you. Media day, Miami Hurricanes going down tomorrow. And what else went down today was Manny Diaz and staff uh, chose a quarterback. I'm glad they did it before media day. So we can uh, get that out of the way and get some questions from the other quarterbacks and Jaren tomorrow. But Manny chose a quarterback. And um, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm satisfied with the decision because it seemed like it was a football decision. There wasn't anything else going on in that decision. It was a football decision. They went with the youth and um, the skill. I think Jaron happens to be the more skilled quarterback we have. And he has the most time left. So I think he's best for the future. I, 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 I'm okay. I'm, I'm fine with the with the choice. My only concern is, is you're going in the, the first game of the season, which, which in long term, which in long term, and and if you think about it, the big picture, the Florida game doesn't really count. Yeah, we want to beat Florida. Nobody wants to use lose to the gay turds, gay tars, whatever we call them today. Yeah, 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 we want to beat them, but it really doesn't count when you put your goals on the line because I mean, yeah, we want to win a national championship, but we 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 at the stage now where it's like. We need to win the ACC. We need to win the Coastal. Those are our goals. I'm sure that's what they're trying to accomplish. So losing to Florida, I mean, is just neither here nor there. In long term, looking at the big picture. So you go, you get things popping with your youth, your young quarterback. Get it started. Go into Florida. Win, lose, or draw. Probably be a low-scoring game. Talked to um, uh, colleague Xavier today, and we were talking about it. And he brought something to my attention. He was saying, "Listen, this game probably is going to be a low-scoring game. Florida, Miami, low-scoring game most of the time. In-state rivalry, defensive game. So that's going to be on Enos them to manage that game, to manage our quarterback, and get out of there with a win. At the same time, it's not like Jaron is." Fresh on campus, like like I made a like Kaya that year. Kaya went into Louisville. Kaya was a true freshman, though. Okay, so that is a little different. Kaya was a true freshman, just getting on campus, went into Louisville, and couldn't throw a bubble screen at night. Jaron has been throwing that college speed for an entire year. He's a red shirt freshman, so that's a little different than a true freshman. Um. Like I said, you know, they're going to have to manage manage him. They're going to have to call a good game. It's on the quarter. It's on the coaches. If it's not, it's not Jaren. Like, I'm here to tell you, it's not Jaren. It's on the coaching staff to know what he can do best, get him prepared, get our offense going with our young quarterback. It's on them. So, Question. And how many of them have made a football decision for the future of the Canes? Do you think we can beat Florida with Jan Williams at quarterback? First start, hostile environment. Let us know in the comment section below. Do you think we can beat Florida with Jan Williams at quarterback? First start. Florida, one of the best defenses in the SEC. New coaching staff. Is it possible? Let us know in the comment section below. If you're watching and you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the alert bell. That's how you know when we go live, when we got some. That's how you know when Footballville, Caneville got something going on. Go follow the new Twitter, Caneville305. Footballville. At Footballville. The new two new Twitters we got. Follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, Caneville on Instagram, Footballville on Instagram. We out here, man. We everywhere. Once again, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the alert bell. Footballville, man. We out here.